Details and welcome to my channel. I am participating today in a YouTube hop uh, with Craftiella Designs. Her name is Gabriella. She invited me to be a part of this hop and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to film a video and get it uploaded to my channel because I know I've been away, but it's been a really busy holiday season with boutiques. I also opened up an Etsy store. So I kind of bit off a little bit more than I probably should have, but that's okay. I'm staying positive and thankful, and it's been super busy, but I do have the next three days just to relax. So anyway, back to the hop. I have two projects to share with you. There is a giveaway at the end of the hop, so I'll ensure that I list all the rules that Gabriella has, and I'll put those in the description box below. And there will be three prizes that um, that you are able to win, and they're really awesome prizes. So, Gabriella, thank you. Somebody's going to be very happy um, to win something. So, let me go ahead and share with you my two Christmas projects. And the first one is a Christmas banner. And as you can see, I chose a very simple color palette. It's two colors and it's simply white and gold. And what inspired me to create this banner was this little reindeer. Now I found this reindeer at Michael's and as soon as I saw him, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. He was a part of, you know, the pics that they have at, you know, Christmas time and they're dwindling down, but I did buy a bunch of these because I just really liked him. So he is at the beginning of my panel and here I just created a rosette here for those that are subscribers to my channel you know how much I love my rosettes and then of course it sits on a vellum scallop that I did emboss and then I have a really pretty sentiment that I embossed with gold embossing powder and it just says let heaven and nature sing so as you can see really simple but it makes a statement for my Christmas banner, I spelled out the word Noel. So each panel has the cardstock that I embossed. It, the next is another layer of vellum that is also embossed. I use a large white doily, my gold glitter letter, and then a little snowflake and another gold snowflake embellishment on top. And for the O, it's the same thing, except here I just decided to add a white glitter tree to the inside of the O. And again, just the same layers. I kept it really simple. Here, a few stars on the letter E. And here is the letter L. And then to finish this banner, I finished them off with this, as I began the banner here with the reindeer and again another rosette. So I really love the way this turned out. It was really easy and fun to make and it looks really pretty um, hung together. So that is my first project that I have to share with you and let me go ahead and share with you my next project. For my next project I brought together two of my favorite things to create something festive that is two gifts in one pretty much so if you have followed my channel you've seen these before I absolutely love creating them they're just the gift card envelope that I like to call them and of course the big bow sits on top this is perhaps my favorite die I absolutely love it I would use it on everything if I could and I can I don't know why but I can so anyway I brought this in conjunction with my vellum pockets. I love these, they're just so much fun. So many things to do with them. You can alter them for every season. So I brought them together to create a gift card and a handmade card enclosure. It just creates a beautiful festive pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I made. So here's my Christmas vellum gift card pocket. And as you can see, it's really simple in design, but the star of the show, as I say many times, it's the big bow. It's this, I love this bow, and maybe it's because I'm from Texas. I think everything needs to be big, but I just love, I love this die. Anyway, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel on how I made the gift card envelope. So today, I'm just gonna share with you a quick and short tutorial on how I created the inside. Um, which has the um, handmade card that's tucked inside. So as you can see, 
lots of little layers very simple but it really goes well with the gift card envelope on the front of the vellum pocket so what it is you just open it up tuck in your gift card and inside you can tuck in your handmade card and I think this it just makes really pretty packaging it's for someone really special maybe it's for your mom for a sister um, instead of just handing you know that gift card that plain simple gift card in a simple envelope or the envelope that the in the store gives you package it up really pretty and it'll just make a beautiful presentation and I would love to receive this so and I finished it off with a little pom-pom on top just because so let me go ahead and show you exactly what you need to get started on how to make the card so I'm going to share with you my process in making this card here so just to let you know when I first decided to make the vellum pockets I wanted to make sure that when I place my card inside that it would look good at the bottom once you place the gift card holder on top here let me just kind of show you here I just wanted to make sure this looked pretty it you know wasn't too distracting I wanted to keep my design simple and clean so the design process I had to think about exactly you know which way which pattern paper I wanted at the bottom and etc so anyway just something to think about if you decide to make these on your own so for this card these are the items that I use so really simple and basic things I used a one inch circle one and one fourth circle I used a one and one fourth scallop punch as well as one and one and a half scallop punch I used the Tim Holtz vintage photo ink to distress some of my pieces of, of my handmade card um, I did use a music note background stamp and for some of my elements here of course you know the gold paper clips some white pom-pom some twine um, you're going to need a doily an ornament die cut you're going to need some type of snowflake and this is one that I used here this is the first time I used it I've had it for a while and I really love this you're going to need some type of embellishment and I really love the pop of color that this glitter tree gave to the card I absolutely love that I found these and I think I got these at Michaels and you're going to need some red twine in case I didn't mention that and then just some die cuts I'm sure you you know we all have those Christmas die cuts these are some of the elements that I'm going to use on my card and then you're going to need some cardstock I use the natural from basil for my base of my card some white cardstock some black cardstock and then two different pattern papers so here I use this music note background pattern paper that I had and I think it's from an old Heidi swap um, Christmas pad and then this stripe this red and white stripe paper so let me go ahead and share with you my process so to begin my card I just took a piece of black cardstock and this measures five and three eighths by five sixteenths so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some adhesive to the top or to the back of this cardstock and we're gonna go ahead and center that right on the front of the card make sure that's straight My next layer measures four by three seven eighth so I'm going to go ahead and just ink around the edges of this music note paper just to give it some texture and you could ink your card base if you like I just kept mine without it because I just like the look of it so then we're going to go ahead and adhere that to the front of our card base ahead and line it up just like that 
And next we're going to go ahead and get our doily here. And I added just a little bit of ink to the top of the doily, just to kind of give it that vintage look. I love these doilies, they're my favorite. And I always buy a bunch of these. And in fact, I just stocked up because I'm already thinking about Valentine's. I know it's too early to think about that, but just trying to plan ahead. So anyway, okay, so that's done. And the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and adhere your doily to your card base. And I am going to apply my adhesive to my card base because you can try to adhere it to your doily, but I find that sometimes it tears. So for me, this is just easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is grab this red and white striped paper and this is going to go along the bottom and let's see I'm going to go ahead and just no I think that I think that's good okay I'm going to go ahead and ink along the edges of this piece of paper and as you can see I'm not really getting more ink because there's a lot of ink on my little dabber here I think that's going to make it all the way around Okay, I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of this. Whoops. And we're gonna adhere that here. Okay, just like that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our music note stamp, some white cardstock, and we'll need some black ink. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply my ink directly to my ink pad, just like that. And then I'm going to grab my cardstock and just lay it right on top of my stamp and then I'm gonna lift off. Just making sure I get all of that. And I'm gonna be left with this. And I'm okay with some of this um, not being stamped all the way because it's gonna be hidden when I add my snowflake layers on top. So this is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch this out using a circle punch or you could use a circle die if you had one. So with your ornament die, you want to just make sure that um, you punch out enough of the stamped image to sit nicely behind your die cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and just punch that now. And I have this big punch that I found in my stash. So hopefully, I think it'll work. I think last time I used a, a die. So yeah, that'll be perfect. So that's gonna be our next layer to our card. So we're gonna go ahead and apply adhesive to the back. Whoops. Make sure all my, everything's the right direction. Okay, so it's gonna go down just like that. And then this is going to sit right on top of that. And for this, I just used some adhesive right along the back of my die cut. And that's gonna be our next layer. Just like that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is begin layering our snowflakes and all the other layers on top of the card. So I already have adhesive on the back of the snowflake die cut, so that's gonna go right in the center of our ornament die cut, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab some pop dots and I'm going to place one 
I'm going to place one on the back of my other layer, and that's going to sit right in the center of that snowflake. I did apply a little bit of hot glue to this just because it is sometimes difficult to um, adhere glitter on top of glitter. So I'm just gonna use that um, pop dot with a little bit of glue just to make sure it doesn't move. Okay, so next I'm gonna grab all my little pieces here. So I have this die cut. I'm gonna go ahead and punch out the December 25, I'm gonna punch that out using my circle punch. And I'm gonna punch out one of my Santa Claus. I really like this image, it's really cute. Okay, punch that out. So now we have all of our die cuts and then I'm going to need, let's see, I'm gonna need a black scallop. I think I need the small one, so just a black small scallop for the 25 that's going to sit right like that and then I need to punch out a red scallop circle using that one and a half and that is where my Santa Claus will sit on top of that so first I'm gonna go ahead and ink my die my die cuts here Okay, so that's all done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start adhering my die cuts to my card. So I'm gonna start with this. And I think I had this one kind of angled and tucked just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive to my 25. And if I had my little Zymar, I would use that, but I'm just doing this really quickly just to kind of share this with you. This is going to sit on top of the black scallop, just like that. And I'm going to raise this up with a pop dot. Right on the back of that. And that's going to get, get tucked in. Let's see, let's tuck it in right there, just like that. And then finally, let's go ahead and add our Santa Claus. I love Christmas and I love making the things. I just love to. It's just one of my favorite times of the year because then I, you know, I can also play with glitter, which is one of my favorite elements to create with. Okay, so next, this is gonna sit right on top. And again, here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue to the back of him just so he doesn't move. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the Santa Claus to the center of the snowflakes. The glue is already on the back, just like that. Now I'm gonna grab one of these glitter tree. And just to give this card a pop of color, I'm gonna add it just to the side of this die cut here, just like that. And there you have it. I hope that you've enjoyed my process in creating this Christmas card. I am so glad I was able to make some Christmas cards this season. Usually that is something last on my list and I'm not sure why because I'm so caught up with packaging and other little things that I want to make. So I was really glad to be able to bring two of my favorite things together to create this vellum pocket. So I can't wait to give some of these to my family members as well as to some of my special girlfriends. I hope that you find some time to make these. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And for those that are um, Gabriella subscribers, thank you for watching my channel. And congratulations, Gabriella, for your 2,000 um, subscribers. That is exciting for you. And thank you for inviting me to be part of this YouTube hop. I wish you and everyone a very happy holiday. Thanks for watching. Okay, before I go, I do want to reiterate the giveaway that is open, that Gabriella has generously um, donated some really great items. So the first prize is an Anna Griffin Zyron Creative Station. And the second prize is a crafty Christmas kit with paper embellishments, etc. 
And then for the third prize, it is a $30 gift card to a craft store. So, so to be entered into the giveaway, you need to do two things. Just subscribe to all the participants of this YouTube hop, as well as leave a comment, uh, a kind comment to each of the participants' um, channel. She also is just asking if you can please just kind of leave something a little bit more meaningful than just thanks for sharing. And the giveaway is going to close December 15th and then the drawing will be on December 16th. And she's going to put all the um, qualified participants in a drawing that's gonna be held by random.org. So pretty exciting, some really fun things, and I hope that you, you know, put your name in, and I wish all of you a just a bunch of luck to hopefully win one of these prizes. And then as for me, I'm going to go ahead and gift my Noel banner to one of you. So if you celebrate Christmas, if you like the banner that I shared with you, please just leave a comment down below in my um, on my channel and I will also do a drawing for the Noel banner. Um, you must be a subscriber to my channel. That's the only thing I ask. And just um, leave a comment and I'll have the drawing um, begin, at, you know, today, obviously, with Gabriella's. And it'll also end on her uh, date, which is December 15th, which is in a week. And then I'll draw the name on the 16th. So I would love to gift that to someone. Um, hopefully um, that you will enjoy it just as much as I have. So thank you again for watching to my subscribers. Um, sorry I've been away, but I've been... Like I said, really busy. I do have one video that I will share of one of my holiday boutiques, kind of my setup. It was one of my smaller venues, but I thought I would go ahead and share that with you if that's something you want to see. Um, I, again, I was so super busy that I wasn't able to get really good video of the other boutiques that I was in, but I do have one, so maybe that'll kind of give you ideas and inspiration for next year. So if you want to see it, let me know, and I'll work on getting that uploaded. So to all of you again, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas or enjoy the season, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.